Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astra Barbie. How are you? I'm the fairy of love of Valentine's Week for you because I care. Happy Valentine's Week. Love is in the air everywhere and it feels so good. We do need love these days in this crazy world, but everything happens for the better good, so hang in there. And I'm giving you lots of huggy huggies and kissy kissy all week long. And welcome to your weekly horoscope, a very special week. The sun is in the sign of Aquarius, so happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We love you because you care about people. The moon will travel in the signs of Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. And we have a very, very beautiful, powerful new moon solar eclipse in Aquarius on Thursday. And romance will be in the air all week, my friends. It's so much fun. Let's enjoy it all the way. This Saturday, Venus Planet of Love enters Romantic Pisces. <gasps> the way we love will be different, more in the flow, less complicated. We may feel like it, taking it easy today and snuggle with someone special. Let's open our arms, let's open our heart and really, really express our feelings. And you know the song, let it be, let it be? Well, let love be in your life. For the next four weeks, love will conquer all. Isn't that extraordinary? Oh, love is my favorite thing. Sunday, the moon in the Capricorn, it's in the opposite, close to Saturn, planet of wisdom, brings love and peace and more tranquility. A good time to really reach out to others, to share a meal, a dance, a smile, a hug, or a kiss. And don't be shy because you'll miss the boat. Come on down, love is in the air, grab it. On Monday, the moon in Capricorn, smiling at Neptune, planet of dreams, and lucky Jupiter puts us in a very happy mood. A good day to really take care. Take a chance, take a risk, do something brave and crazy and daring and in love and career and even in finances. If you do, you won't be sorry. Tuesday, it's a happy Mardi Gras, or what you call Fat Tuesday to you all. I hope you're gonna have like some kind of party with all kind of costumes, Mardi Gras costume. I'm going to a party for sure. With the moon in Aquarius, it will be a lot of fun and the sun smiling at Uranus, the master of Aquarius, well, change is in the air for the better good. A very good day to really say what we feel, to forgive, forget, make things right and reach out to other people and make a difference and to also put things in motion to make our life, our country, our family, our relationship a paradise. When there's a will, there's always a way, right? Wednesday, a happy day, happy Valentine's Day to you all my beautiful friends. It's my favorite, as you probably know already. The moon is in Aquarius, making it very happy. The moon will fluff our wings of our hearts all day. So don't be shy, express your love at each moment to everybody you can today. And I personally send you lots of hugs, lots of kisses, and lots of tenderness. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Mm -hmm. Celebrate love because that's who you are. I love you guys. Thursday, we have a new moon partial solar eclipse in the sun of Aquarius, perfectly aligned. It balances the old eclipse in Leo that we had in the beginning of the year, bringing up strong emotions and high sensitivities, but in a good way. Better relax, not to do anything important, pamper ourselves and hang out with loving people. Avoid also making serious decisions. And also make a laugh wish to the eclipse. It will be granted. Personally, I want to tell all of you, I love you, every one of you. I kiss you. Enjoy this extraordinary eclipse. It's sort of healing and it's wonderful. Happy eclipse in Aquarius, my friends. Friday, the Lunar New Year of the Dog starts. Bye-bye, rooster, crazy rooster, and welcome. More appeasing dog year in the Chinese horoscope. 
somehow bringing more balance, more calm, and a sense of justice in all of the craziness that we experienced in 2017, in our personal life and also collectively. So we should have better news in the political world, okay? So that's a wonderful thing if you're a dog, if you're a tiger, or actually very soon I'll make a show about this, you will have a very, very special year. Everybody is touched in a certain way and I'll make a show and I'll let you know about it. Aquarius, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. You're the star this week. The new moon solar eclipse in your sign brings you popularity and romance. Right on cue for you to feel loved and also to be happy as can be. No matter how much you pride yourself on being emotionally pretty reserved, well, guess what? Get ready to express your wild side and romantic side this week. So put your pride aside and express your feelings. Surrender totally to love, that's what I tell you. Give hugs to your loved ones until they can't stand it anymore. And of course, well, it will never happen, right? So on Valentine's Day, Cupid will bring tenderness and kisses in very awkward moments. Let your hair down, Aquarius. Enjoy Valentine. Your magical color, fuchsia, lucky numbers, 321. Pisces, it's definitely your kind of week for three reasons. Firstly, Valentine's Day was made for your sign, of course, being as sentimental and tender and sweet as you are. Secondly, this is a holiday which makes it mandatory for everyone to be romantic and share. And thirdly, well, the new moon solar eclipse in your sector of spirituality brings like a new beginning. So get ready to snuggle up with a very special someone in a very special way. On Valentine's Day, Cupid will bring the appreciation of how amazing and beautiful and special you are. Your magical color pink lucky numbers, four and 22. Aries, Aries, happy Valentine's. Yes, it's here for you finally. Now knowing you, the most notorious of the three fire signs, famous for procrastination, you need to get busy, my dear, and get some shopping done. Okay, because you're the giver, take this list along with you, at least one rose or a few, a loving card, and if you feel like it, maybe an appropriate little gift for someone, something that will let your sweetheart and loved ones how much and you love them and how special they are to you. And on Valentine's Day, Cupid will bring smiles and loving, appreciating people that really care for you and it will feel good. Happy Valentine's. Your magical color red, lucky numbers four and 16. Taurus, the new moon solar eclipse in your career sector make you invincible and so sensual, so sexy. You may still be on overdrive, but the heavens have arranged for a very special dose of magic and tender moments for this Valentine's week. All your feelings will be especially potent. If you're single, don't you dare stay home because your Valentine may be out there looking for you. But remember, you can't win if you don't play. If you're involved, ecstasy awaits. Wow, you're lucky Taurus this week. Valentine's Day, well, Cupid will bring sensuality and lots of ecstasy in everything you do. Lucky you, enjoy. Your magical color, orange, lucky numbers, 11 and 22. Gemini, the new moon solar eclipse in your karmic sector make you very sentimental. You're very charming and you're the chattiest sign of all and you just love to communicate. Well, after all, you're famous for your wonderfully entertaining notes, texts, cards, and emails, not to mention those fun and inspiring messages you always give to people. Well, since it's Valentine's week, what a great time for you to contact each and every person you love and just say what you feel. Be sure to save a bit of your sweet stuff for, uh, you know, that special someone. Valentine's Day, Cupid will bring friends who really show they care for you and you will feel loved like so tenderly. It will be delicious. Your magical color, red, lucky numbers, five and 23. 
Cancers, that's me. And the new moon solar eclipse in your chef resources sector make you very passionate and in love with everything and everything you do. A romantic, active week awaits for you. Trust me, you will need to take a few power naps. You'll be running around doing your best like usual to spoil, pamper, love everyone you see. And especially your special someone, the one that you've chosen in your heart. Does busy mean hectic? Well, maybe, but it may also mean that you'll be on the receiving end of some very lovely, delicious, passionate attention from very special people and you will love it. Get ready for a magical Valentine week, my beautiful Cancers, in love and in career. Valentine's Day Cupid, we love Cupid, will bring tenderness, music, poetry, delicious food, and sweet loving words at your ears. Just the way you like it. Mm, just the way, the way I like it. Your magical color pink lucky numbers, three and 21. Leo, the new moon solar eclipse in your relationship sector makes you radiant and sensitive. The stars are urging you, my dear, to celebrate this Valentine's week in a glamorous fashion. No, nothing else. Glamorous, golden, diamonds. You may be thinking about staying home, mm -hmm. snuggling up and getting comfy. Uh-uh. If you do, you won't get any arguments from your sweetheart though. Either way, in or out of your house, it will be a very warm and pleasant and loving Valentine. A special someone, I assure you, will be very happy to have you all to themselves. Hmm? Valentine's Day Cupid will bring a feeling of rebirth and being adored and appreciated by many. Your magical color gold, lucky numbers, 6 and 33. Virgo, the new moon solar eclipse in your work sector makes you very sexy and vibrant. From all the signs in the zodiac, yours will definitely be one of the most giving. When it comes to one-to-one -to -one relationships, all kinds of feelings, both current and from the distant past, could be coming along. The good news this week is that all those emotions promise to be quite positive, pleasant. Married? or single, the flame of your hearts will be revived. Valentine's Day Cupid will bring a celebration of your beauty and your kind heart. Your magical color, pink, lucky numbers, nine and 36. Libra, the new moon solar eclipse in your romantic sector, brings hope and wellness and deep feelings. Here it is, Valentine's week, your favorite, right? You are the sign of love and peace. Of course you are happy about it. Many, many blessings from Venus, your ruler in Pisces also, brings people together in your life and turning up the tenderness in your life everywhere, big time, and it's so much fun. You feel appreciated, you feel loved. No matter who your lucky Valentine's is, you will be there for them and they will be there for you. It will be totally loving, magical. How? Just by being you turning on that smile and let them know how much you care for them. On Valentine's Day, Cupid will bring sensuality, laughter, and a gift from the heart that will touch your heart. Your magical color, peach, lucky number seven and 21. Scorpio, the new moon solar eclipse in your home sector, make you gorgeous, sexy, and passionate. You are the sign of passion, right? Perfect time for you to announce your feelings, big time. Why? Because it's Valentine's week, when everyone feels completely justified in showing their emotions, especially you. You are the genius at that. Thanks to your immense love and passion, big heart, like no one, you know how to spoil the people you love and the friends that you cherish. And the good news this week, well, the loved ones will be very happy just to surrender to any of your wishes. On Valentine's Day, Cupid will say, your wish is my command. Ask and you shall receive. The magical color fuchsia, lucky numbers one and 46. 
Sagittarius, the new moon solar eclipse in your communication sector make you very popular and sexy and sort of calm. Smile, it's Valentine's week and you are the adventurous sign. You know in your heart that you're about to be spoiled big time. You always do. Did you already make your reservations for Thursday? Of course you did. We all know this is your specialty. The good news is whether or not you have a dinner, a tiny velvet box or flowers arranged on the table, it will be great. It won't really matter. It's all going to be about love. One way or the other, everything you will do will be magical, loving, and people will appreciate it. On Valentine's Day, Cupid will bring hugs, smiles, humor, laughter, and a romantic surprise. Are you ready? Your magical color fuchsia, lucky numbers 6 and 33. Capricorn, the new moon, solar eclipse in your financial sector brings luck and charm and very, very uh, strange circumstances that, that you know that your life is moving forward. Happy Valentine's week. Now get out your best dress, jewelry, shirts, suits, and get on the phone now. Make sure that the limo will arrive on time, the dinner reservations are made and set up to enjoy the going out in the world and showing off your beauty on Valentine's Day. You certainly got something ultra special in mind and there's no doubt about it, it will be fabulous. You will make all your loved ones happy, your sweetheart totally adored and everybody will be extremely happy. That's what you're going to do this Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day, Cupid will bring what? Joy, fun, and glitter, gifts, flowers, and maybe some of you, hmm, a little velvet box. Wow, wouldn't that be great? Your magical color, white lucky numbers, 4 and 22. And now here's your wizard affirmation of this love week. Happy Valentine's to you guys, I love you. Love is who we, you are. Love fluffs our soul's wings and makes us smile. Love makes the world go round. Guys, you know the secret of happiness? It's so simple. I'm telling you, that's my secret. Every chance you get, give, share, do something for someone. Show your love, share your tenderness. I do it all the time. I can't help it. I'm a lover. And somehow, if you do, you will like it. I adore it. Love you guys with all my heart and send you a beautiful wish of Valentine's week. Enjoy the eclipse, make a wish of love on Valentine's Day. Very important on Thursday. And of course, if you like me a lot, press like, subscribe to my show. And again, big, big hugs to each and one of you. Bye, happy Valentine's week.